Hi, my name is Evan, and I'm going to be introducing the company that we know as Zappos. Zappos was founded in 1999 under the URL shoeslate.com. Later that year, Tony Shea came on board and revamped the entire company's culture and structure. When it first started off, the company sold only shoes, but today you can buy anything from clothing to cookware. And in nine short years, it became a $1 billion company. And this is attributed to two different aspects. There, and the first aspect of it is the company is currently pursuing a differentiation strategy that's by setting itself apart from its competitors by having top-notch customer service. And the second attribute is the company's overall culture. And these two things led, or are the backbone to the company's overall success. Hi, my name is Rodrigo, and today I'll be talking to you about Zappos' strengths. Zappos' official slogan is powered by service. This slogan sums up what this organization is all about. Zappos truly believes in their slogan and has a strong desire to enhance both their customer shopping experience and their own employees' overall lives. As Zappos CEO Tony Shea once said, we're a service company that just happens to sell shoes. Today, Zappos' entire culture is heavily focused on customer service, which is perhaps the company's greatest strength. In sum, Zappos' culture of strong commitment to customer service serves as its point of differentiation and why employees, suppliers, and customers choose Zappos. Hi, my name is Dennis, and I'll briefly speak to you about the challenges facing Zappos. After careful analysis of internal, industry, and external forces, our team has identified three potential obstacles that face the company. An internal analysis allowed us to realize the challenges Zappos has faced during the recruiting process. We then used Portis 5 Forces model to analyze the industry Zappos operates in and discover the potential pressures from competitors and new entrants. A final step was to look at external factors that may have an indirect influence on the firm. By doing so, we learned that a proposed legislative internet tax reform may become a threat to the way Zappos prices its goods. My name is Roel and I will be focusing on Zappos recruiting efforts. So Krista, the head of HR, has pointed out that they go through 30,000 applicants each year. This averages to 82 applications per day. We believe that this number can be reduced by implementing behavioral description interview questions in the first phase of the applications. In addition to reducing the number of applicants, we believe this Apple is missing out on potential talent by strictly seeking technically and culturally fit candidates. This can be modified by accepting culturally fit candidates with less than ideal technical skills. And to do so, we suggest Apple's creating a developmental training program for the new employees to improve their technical skills. Zappos is able to provide very invaluable services. However, this is not enough to sustain its competitive edge. Industry saturation of a few big giants give an incentive for competition to enter and share those large profits. We must also consider the easy nature of online businesses versus the brick and mortar stores. For Zappos, innovation is key to maintaining its brand equity. A group such as Zappos to be an incumbent by entering the blue ocean waters through expansion into international markets where quality customer service is unheard of. On its home soil, however, rather than expanding its product line, we recommend Zappos to exclusively sell its services to other firms by becoming a customer service call center for those firms. It is important for Zappos to strategically plan for the potential threat to legislative change that the internet tax may pose to the company. We suggest Zappos incur the internet sales tax themselves, rather than forwarding the tax on its customers by raising prices. In our opinion, this would be the best way for Zappos to strategically deal with the tax legislation change. Today, 11 states require taxes to be added to internet sales. As of now, Zappos adds taxes to purchases made in those 11 states. If the legislation passes for all 50 states, however, Zappos could potentially lose its competitive edge. If Zappos incurs the taxes, it could serve as another point of differentiation for their business and could actually increase the number of overall customers and ultimately their success. For example, if other competing companies forward the taxes onto their customer, customers might be more inclined to go to Zappos and buy from their tax-free products. For these reasons, we believe it is in Zappos' best interest to incur the taxes themselves.